Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time. And one of the comments that I always hear is, you make it look so easy. Well, I think it is, and I wanna show you just how easy it can be. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques and put them together and teach you how to make your very own jewelry. If you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. Okay, so to make our cross my heart earrings, I have some 26 gauge vintage bronze craft wire. I've got a pair of wooden heart buttons. I've got some bead caps, some little spacers, um, some beautiful check glass rondelles, some textured rings and a set of ear wires. And for our tools, we're gonna to be just using our regular four tools. We've got our chain nose pliers, our bent chain nose pliers, our round nose pliers, and our flush cutters. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a length of wire and I'm gonna cut it about as long as this mat just for sake of not having to get a ruler, which I always forget. And <laughs> we're gonna start with that. Just move some things out of the way here so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna pick the side of the buttons that I like because you know, they, they always have different kind of colors to them and I, I think that side looks pretty good. So I'm gonna sort of meet these at the middle here. It doesn't have to be exact, but I do try to pull them out at the same time. So I'm gonna sort of match them up on the end, and then I'm gonna pull the button down to the middle so that it's it's coming like through there. Does that make any sense? Sometimes. Um, <laughs> and then I've got equal amounts coming out on the end there. Now I'm gonna take one side, and it doesn't matter which one you use. I'm gonna take one side and I'm gonna run it back through the opposite hole and then I'm gonna repeat on the other side. So now my wires are coming out the front and I'm just gonna make sure that those are pulled nice and tight so there's no gaps. So I don't want anything sort of sticking out. And you wanna be careful that you're not uh, damaging this wire too much. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it so that I've got my wires in the back and I'm gonna take the one on the right and I'm gonna sort of cross it over and I'm gonna go through the opposite hole and pull that wire through to the back hold of that and I find that you can do this just easily without your tools that it works uh, fine with your hands so I'm creating a bit of a, a cross over here so just pull that through nice and tight and you can see how it's crossed over and now I'm going to repeat with the opposite side now I'm going to repeat that one more time so I'm going to take the one that was on the left here and come in through the right hole and if it starts to get a little bit crooked just sort of straighten it out I normally wouldn't hold it like this, but I'm trying to keep on camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just always double checking that there's no gaps or anything like that. And now I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Pull this one nice and tight. I can see that it's a little bit loose here, so I wanna pull it really nice and snug. So now we've got our two wraps in the front and we've got our crisscross wraps on the top there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna pick one of the wires, it doesn't really matter which one, so I'm gonna take the one on the right and I'm gonna put it through the opposite hole, right across. So now, I'll pull that nice and snug, I'll bring that up to the top, so now I've got one wire in the front and one wire in the back. So now I'm gonna pull them up till they meet in the middle of the button and then I'm just gonna sort of twist tie them a bit. I normally never do this when it comes to wire because it can snap but we're gonna be really careful. I'm gonna twist it about five or six times and we create just a little sort of a locked in area on the top there. All right, so now we can just build the rest of the earrings. So I'm gonna place one of these little hex nuts on top and what that does is covers up most of those um, little wraps there and it sort of seats itself in between the little nook of the heart. And then we're gonna take one of the large hold bead caps and then that will completely cover any of those little twists that we've put in there. And now I'm gonna put my little check glass bead on there. Another one of the bead caps. Come back, little bead cap. And one of the little hex nuts. All right. So and I just wanna make sure that everything is nicely seated. And if you're looking at it and you think, oh wow, I really like um, this side versus that side, uh, just go with whatever side looks um, fine to you. And then you can always turn your button on the other so other one so that you've got a mirrored image. So I'm kind of liking the way this looks on this side, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I'm gonna come right on top of this hex nut and I'm gonna push everything down. I wanna make sure it's all nicely seated in there. And then I'm gonna bend away and I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers and I wanna go about halfway up because I do need a fairly decent size loop. I don't want a huge one, but I need a, um, a larger loop on this one. So up and over and down, open my pliers, rotate them, pull that wire to the back and I'm gonna sort of look at it and make sure it's nice and um, centered there. I don't want that little uh, loop tipping over at all. I'm just gonna cut some of this off to make it a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm gonna take my little decorative ring here and pop that inside there. And now you wanna get a really good grip on these circles. So you're gonna have two pairs of wires here. And we're gonna do kind of a messy wrap um, thing here. So I wanna get right over top of those, there we go. And I'm gonna wrap down as many times as I can until that hex nut is locked in there. And then I'm gonna work my way back up. And then I just kinda look, make sure it's what I want. I think I'm gonna go around one more time just cause I want a little bit bulkier and then make sure that's nice and snug. And then I'm gonna come in with the flush side and give that a little trim. And now you're gonna have a little burr that sticks out. I don't know if you can see that right there. So I'm just gonna gently take my pliers and sort of push that down. Now this is 26 gauge wire, so it's really soft. So you don't wanna push too hard because you can um, throw this whole thing out of whack. So now if anything's become a little bit misshapen, you're just gonna take your pliers and sort of straighten them out. Now I'm gonna add one of my ear wires. So I just, and you open them just like a jump ring. You wanna open this way, never that way. It'll break the neck of it. And then we're going to put your earring on there and do that up. So I'm just gonna finish the second one off camera and I'll be right back to show you the finished pair. So there you go, there's my cross my heart earrings. I love taking buttons and using them for something other than a button. And I think these ones turned out really cute. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a like. Please leave me a comment because I love to hear from everybody. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do so. I wanna thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next one.